I wanted to do this quick guide for you guys because these techniques are important to learn when improving at Ultra Kill, and they'll be a big part of the P1 guide when that comes out. These are shotgun swapping, projectile boosting, and shotgun parries. I want to clarify something here real quick. When you punch your own shotgun pellets, that is called a projectile boost, not a shotgun parry. Shotgun parries are a totally different mechanic, and we'll discuss that later. Projectile boosting, also called pro boost or P boost or shotgun teching, makes one of the pellets you fire explosive. This explosive pellet will do 3.5 damage in an AOE and is always centered, which means you can essentially snipe a target at a long range with this. It's a pretty simple technique, but when first learning it, the timing can be a bit difficult to pull off. The easiest way I can explain and show you is that you first fire, then punch quickly after. You don't do it at the same time, but it's pretty darn close. Shotgun swapping is very basic and easy to do, but it's also very powerful. You can output a lot of damage on a big target by simply holding down the fire button and tapping the swap variant button after you fire the shotgun. You can also tap whatever button you have bound to the shotgun for this as well, which is what I do. I use custom binds for my shotgun because I use them so often, it's easier, quicker, and more comfortable for myself to put it on another button. Swapping is so fast because you cancel the cooldown animation of the weapon you just fired by swapping to another weapon. This animation canceling can be done with various other weapons as well, but we'll discuss that another time. So what happens when you combine pro boosting and shotgun swapping? This is the triple pro boost. It works just like a normal pro boost, but you have to swap immediately after the first, then perform another, and swap, then perform the last one. This can only be done if you haven't been pro boosting or punching for a short period of time. This is because the feedbacker and the knuckle blaster have a global cooldown timer on them to prevent parry spam and, well, infinite projectile boosting. The most you can get consecutively is three. The timing for a triple pro boost is tough and it took me a while to get it down, but like anything else, it takes a lot of practice. You gotta be quick. It's very quick, consecutive shoot, punch, swaps. After the triple, you can consistently get a pro boost on every other shot. So you can pro boost, swap, fire, swap, pro boost, swap, fire, swap, pro boost, as long as you want. These techniques may take some time to develop, but they're very powerful and really fun. The last thing I want to talk about is shotgun parrying. This is exactly how it sounds. You parry an enemy with your shotgun by firing at the right time. This does not work for projectiles, and only works at point blank range. The shotgun parry will always do 7 damage with the blue, and 6.5 damage with the green. The timing would be the same as if you were going to perform a normal parry against the target, but you fire the shotgun instead. This is very useful technique to use against Swords Machine, because you're in close range and SM has a lot of parryable attacks. It also helps that SM takes extra damage from shotguns. You can parry schisms, drones, malicious faces, and even corpse Minos' fists with this. Speaking of malicious faces, they actually take the damage of a shotgun parry at any time as long as you're firing point blank into them. You can easily take them down in 3 swaps, or 2 swaps and a KB punch. If you're not right up on them however, you won't be dealing any of the parry damage and it'll take a long time to kill them. Shotgun parrying can also be done with the overpump explosion, though you'll want to learn how to dodge that so you don't take the self damage from it. And there you have it, relatively simple techniques, but very powerful. And like I said, they will be important for the P1 guide, which should be coming out soon. Sometime this month for sure. Thanks to Locked as always for the damage chart, and thank you to BGB, Hectech, and Mac for the information to use in the Ultra Guide as well. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.